just me putting out fantasy hey what's going on everybody it's Michelle the transit guru here with my first fantasy transit video so the fantasy transit series that I am wanting to start and I have been thinking about for a very long time is just me putting out fantasy transit routes in different cities that I've been to different places that I've been to um, creating fantasy transit bus lines, train lines, light rail lines, commuter rail lines, any and every type of thing. I might even do uh, fantasy highways and stuff like that. Um, it's something I want to do. I'm passionate about transit and transportation. I do have my uh, master's in transportation and an MBA focusing in transportation. So I feel like I know a little bit about transit and transportation. Um, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, um, do all that good stuff, become a um, subscriber to my channel. I do want to keep putting out more and more videos. I want to um, speak with anybody and, any, and anyone that would listen or who wants me to create a fantasy transit route for them. Give me a map. I could create it for you. Um, I could tweak it or I could put down the pure team map that you like. Um, I do most of my work in Google Earth, which is one of my favorite programs. It is free off of Google or from Google. And yeah, let's get started. So today I am working on a bus route in the city or in the Houston metro area. Um, where I live in the northern part of Houston, there is a bus, the 399. It is called the Kirkendall Shuttle. It's a very short bus line. Let me bring up the bus map. Actually, did I close it? Let me bring up the actual route of the 399. So this is the route of the 399. You see it starts at the Greens um, Point Transit Center. And it's a short route to the Kirkendall Park Ride where it only transferred with itself. Um, for the time that I have been living in this area, I have seen this bus empty every single time it is a peak um it's a peak no it's a peak and an off peak bus so yeah it runs pretty much all day and i never see anyone on the bus the 99 which it follows for about 90 percent of its route is always a full bus i never see anyone on the 399 so what i wanted to do because now i feel like it's a waste of a bus line is i want to change this from a shuttle bus to a main a main service bus um, in the Houston area um, and to serve the northern suburbs of Houston who do not have um, buses north of FM 1960. FM stands for farm to market. FM 1960 is really the dividing line of uh, what people I think consider as Houston, like Houston and Houston inner suburbs and then what are the outer, outer suburbs. But the area up and down Kirkendall Road, which is one of the longest arterial roads in the Houston area, um, could definitely service and could definitely utilize a bus line. And I think it would get good utilization. So before I get started, this is um, based off the 399. I would have to change the number because the 300 bus um, numbers in the city of Houston or in, on, in the Houston metro system are shuttle buses and this would be a mainline bus and since um, Houston mainline buses from what I gather are 0 to 100 I actually will have to break the rule and I would give this the 199 number there is no other 199 in the Houston bus system so as you can see any bus over the number 100 are express buses or yeah are all express buses 300s are shuttles and 0 to 100 are all um are all just regular bus routes but i will have to break the rule and give it a um a 100 number so i would give it a 199 just to stick with the theme it does the 99 um, does go to the, it will be at the same starting point. And since the 99 is based off the 399, um, I think it's fair. I think it's good. So let's go back to Google Maps or Google Earth and let's start the bus route. So what I like to do in Google Earth is use the add path tool. I create a folder. Here's my folder right here. Um, I like to do the add path tool 
Choose a style of color that might stand out. Red is typically good. 5.5 width, um, I found shows up best on Google Maps when you have the satellite view. Let's go ahead and name the route the 199 Kerr Ken Dog Road. <laughs> and then I hide this, move this over, and let's start the route. So the bus would start at the Greens Point Transit Center, which is a whole nother issue. I really think the Greensboro Transit Center could use a part of the abandoned Greens Point Mall and build a transit center <laughs> in the mall parking lot instead of all the buses um, having to sit on the street. I don't like that at all. And this is a major transit center because... All right, so I'm back. Um, sorry for the interruption. Um, let's see. All right, so we're gonna start um, creating the bus line. So again, like I said, that this uh, new Route 199 is going to start at the Greensport Transit Center near the Greenspoint um, abandoned mall. It is going to make a left onto Greens Road like the current Route 199, uh, 399 does. It's gonna go under I-45. And it is going to make a right onto Northboro Drive following both the 399, the old 399 and the 99's route. It's going to go up past all the apartments. And this is where the route is going to completely change from here on out. The 399 typically makes a left with the 99 onto a Rush Creek. But this new route 199 is going to make a right turn onto Rush Creek go over the greens uh, I think that's the greens by you I'm not sure and then it's going to make a left turn onto Kirkendall right here and it is going to follow Kirkendall all the way to the end of the line so it's going to follow Kirkendall um, Kirkendall at this point uh, there's a little shopping complex right here on Kirkendall I can actually close that now there's uh, some shopping right here, some commercial right here, some major car dealerships right here that will all be within walking distance of the bus route. So workers or people, well, I doubt people going to these particular car dealerships because these are high-end car, deal car, car dealerships, but it will create bus service for this commercial area right here at Kirkendall and Rankin. These apartments right here, here is the parking ride. So the parking ride is still served by the bus. Um, I don't know if the bus would need to turn into the parking ride. I would actually like for the bus to turn into the parking ride and have a, you know, a super stop right there at the Kirkendall parking ride. Um, I think due to COVID and me being new to the area, I've never seen the parking ride packed like it is on the picture. Let's see. Yeah, I've never seen that many people <laughs> at the park and ride. I've never seen more than 50 cars at the park and ride. But let's continue on. So there would be a stop here at the park and ride. And so it will also transfer with the 209, which is an express bus that goes to the spring park and ride north of here, as well as downtown into the medical center. But this bus would continue on down Kirkendall serving all this area where it would then cross over Ella Boulevard and have a um, transfer point with the 99. Um, so it earlier left the 99, the 99 went off um, past some neighborhoods and some apartments and this bus has came back and they will have a transfer point and you know, we could build some shelters and stuff here. So we will continue the 199 up Kirkendall, and you know, it, start, it looks like it starts to get a little bit more suburban going up this way. It would go over Ritchie Road, which ends at Kirkendall right here. And it would keep going, and while, yes, it looks like there is nothing and it is very country out here, we're gonna get back to the <laughs> very built up suburban part. So as you can see, we're back. So we're coming up, um, it looks like on 1960, and the bus will continue on. The bus won't go through the Kirkendall Tunnel. It will go on the, um, 
it will go on the um, the ramps and intersect with 1960. So there will be a transfer point with the 86, which is the Imperial Valley 1960 bus, um, which is a major bus um, that goes all the way from the Greens Point Transit Center to the Willowbrook Mall going straight down 1960 Cypress Creek Parkway. The 199 Kirkendall bus um, will continue on down Kirkendall using the ramps and not the tunnel. And it will continue on Kirkendall through the very suburban part of the North Houston Metro. And it will continue on. Um, it won't have any other transfers past this point. No buses really go that far north of 1960. Of course, the 99 um, and the 44 do go, but they don't go that far north as far as this bus is going to go. I see potential for a lot of riders in these apartments and these houses. This is a very solid, solidly middle class area. So I see the potential for a lot of young people or people who don't want to ride or, you know, people who can't afford a car or people that, um, you know, who may choose to ride the bus. So it's going to continue down Kirkendall. Well, it's going to continue down Kirkendall no matter what. Um, it's going to cross over Cypress Wood, which is a major road through a lot of residential. It's going to pass the East Klein Middle School at Elementary School. I'm not sure, 100% sure of the name of the schools, but it will pass these schools. We're coming up on Luetza Road, where there is a major shopping center with shopping on both sides of the road. There's apartments. Um, there is a lot of housing, as you can see. Houston really, even with no zoning laws, all the houses seems to stay together. All right, and like I keep saying, it's gonna continue down Kirkendall. It's very suburban out here. Um, they are building. And now it's crossing over Spring Cypress. This building right here is the DMV where you can get your license and IDs at um, in Texas. So I feel, always feel like it's very important for buses to go near government office because not everyone drives, not everyone has driver's licenses, but a lot of people, but everyone does need at least an ID, and this is where you get it from right here. And this place is always packed, so having a bus go there would really um, help some people get out to this particular one. We continue down Kirkendall or up Kirkendall, continue up. There's still a lot of suburban houses, and I do know that some suburban people do ride um, public transit if it is available to them or near them. We're passing where Gosling Road ends, which is a major road through the woodlands. Kirkendall is also a major road through the woodlands, but we're not going to go um, that far north. We're actually getting close to the end of the line. Continue on, and now we're back into a major shopping area on Kirkendall. Um, this area I like to call the Grand 99 Marketplace. There's um, all different types of retailers, kind of like an outdoor mall, a pseudo lifestyle center. Now we're passing over 2920, which connects Tomball with Spring. There's a lot of um, residential out here. There's a lot of commercial and potential for people to ride the buses out here to um, get to these low paying jobs. So we're continuing on Kirkendall, passing all the, um, bypassing all of the um, shopping major commercial district that is up here in the Grand 99 Marketplace. And now we're coming up on Spring Stubner Road and we're pretty much at the end of the line for the 199. Kirkendall Road. So the bus will then, let's see, the bus will then go here. It will turn on the access road and then immediately make this left turn onto this um, underpass under 99 Parkway. Turn back onto the access road, make a left. Turn back onto the access road, it will make a left, and it will continue back down Kirkendall Road. Um, back to the Greens Point Transit Center. That is the 199 Kirkendall Road. 
let's see some measurements. So this is exactly a 13 mile long bus route, which I think is a really good um, length bus route. I don't think it's too long and I don't think it's too short. As for frequency on this bus, I really feel like either a 30 minute headway or even a 45 minute headway. I don't think it'll be a 15 minute headway bus. I think it'll be a 30 minute or 45 minute headway because it is a suburban bus um, through not exactly upper middle class suburbia, but more middle class suburbia. So 30 to 45 minutes because a good portion of the people who do ride the bus will still drive but they have kids or they may have elderly parents or you know they may be a one car household so someone else may have to ride the bus and it'll give you access to the commercial strip that is Kirkendall at the North End at the Grand Mar at the 99 Grand Marketplace as well as it will connect you to the Greens Point Transit Center which gives you access to pretty much all of uh, Metro Houston because those other buses in Metro Houston will go will take you out to East Houston on the 6th. The 102, which also goes to the Greens Point Transit System, will either take you to the airport or it will take you downtown. The 85 will take you into Northwest Houston following Antoine and Washington, eventually to downtown in the Northwest Transit Center. And the 56 will take you straight down Airline, which is a major north-south route in Houston, and that will connect with the light rail system. So all right so let's um pull out and see what this bus route looks like on the map so as you can see it literally goes from the greens point transit center it has a little maneuvering to do to get to kirkendall and it follows kirkendall all the way up for about 50, about 11 miles that is, I think, a great bus route. Um, I think it will be a great addition to the Houston Metro public transit system. It will connect a lot of people who do not have current um, access to the bus lines in Houston or access to public transit in Houston. It will connect new areas um, to the public transit system. And yeah, that is my fantasy transit um, line for the 199 Kirkendall getting rid of the 399 Kirkendall shuttle um, in, on the Houston Metro system and adding this 199 Kirkendall road bus um, with 30 to 45 minute headways on and off peak. Thank you. Um, if you enjoyed this content, this was my first video. Um, so um, I'm hoping to, I'm actually hoping to put out a couple more today because these are so easy to make. Um, but yeah, Going forward, I'll be doing bus systems in, you know, bus system, transit systems, uh, light rail, heavy rail, commuter rail, all different types of stuff like that. I thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye-bye.